Guys, I'm furious. I'm really, really, really furious today. Um, you have to understand where I'm coming from. About four or five months ago, I became an investor in Take Two, which means I own part of NBA 2K. I know I only invested for one share that cost me $130, but still I thought it was gonna get me a seat at the table. I thought it was gonna get me heard. None of that has happened, guys. I've been getting ignored and I feel like that's not right. As a part owner of Take Two Interactive, I feel like my voice needs to be heard. And Ronnie, since I own the company that employs you, pay very close attention. Cause we just want a fun 2K gaming, fantastic, good quality gaming experience. That's not too much to ask for. So today I'm not asking, I am quite possibly demanding. Especially because just today I decided to double my investment. <laughs> I did, I bought another share, I have two shares now, which means I definitely should be getting a seat at the table making these decisions now. Granted, I'm only contributing $260 to the $14 billion they have in market cap. Isn't this a democracy? Shouldn't every voice be heard? First off, Ronnie, what, what are y'all doing over there? We're used to it now, the park events don't work. How does the rush event work 25% of the time? I don't even wanna play the events, even though the concept of them is good, I'm not gonna lie, the rotation of events is good, but when I hop on, either the server is OD bugging, or you can't even participate in it because it's so laggy, which I guess is the same thing when you come to think about it. Like 20% of the time, I'll have a flawless event experience, and I'll be like, wow, imagine if every other time I played 2K and I was in an event, it went just like that. And that doesn't even start with all the people that's obviously boosting to try and win these events. Most of the time they get away with it, sometimes they don't. But it's like, I get it, it's about making money. But just because you can't profit off of stopping cheaters, doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Because when it comes to my team, 2K is out there sniping everybody, they're quick scoping everybody. If they even hear that you're remotely violating the rules and skimping them of the beautiful, wait, VC that you should be buying because now I'm an investor guys. I'm an investor. I need the stock price to go up so that my portfolio can triple. Is there even a reporting feature in this game? It's 2020, god damn it. There's no way to report cheaters. Holy. Even if there was a way to report cheaters, would you guys hire anybody to look through the reports? Or would you just have it there for show? I'm not sure. Ronnie, I'm talking specifically to you today, bud. Pay attention, man. The servers is horrible. Are we gonna do something about that? How is it possible? Do you guys remember the video I made when I played on the Google Stadia? The first week, it's a streaming platform and it had fantastic latency, no server issues. All, all of a sudden, the next time I hop on, a week later, it's it went to, it's unplayable. I didn't even want, it, it felt like I was running through molasses. We all know the server stuff is not hard to solve. It literally just costs money. It's not like the technology doesn't exist. It's just expensive and for 2K, they don't actively profit from good servers. Because if you think about it, servers is really nothing that ever gets gratitude. I've never been playing a game and went, wow, actually I think this game has really good servers. It's one of those things you only really notice when it's doing a horrible job. That doesn't mean you shouldn't address it. Nobody really notices a UI unless the UI is horrible. That's most things in life. And the servers goes hand in hand with optimization. I wanna to talk to the guys specifically. Are you watching this video? Who port the game to different platforms? Specifically to you. What are you guys doing to optimize this game because you're doing a horrible job? You, you would think like you're loading into San Andreas sometimes. How is it possible that walking around the neighborhood, I could be skipping? How is it possible that if I'm playing the rush event, I get kicked out at the end of every game? And there's solutions to all of this. That's the thing. If you want better performance in the game, give us an opportunity to blur out all the nonsense when we're playing in the park. When you're playing on PC, for example, let's say you don't have a good PC and you're playing Minecraft or any other game, you can just reduce the focal length so that anything in the distance is blurred out so your PC can perform better. 
It's not hard to give us an option like that, but for some reason it's not done. And I think the reason is, is because there's billboards, there's advertisements. So if they're blurring those out, they're losing money. Well, then you have to optimize it better. Like it's one or the other. Either the, the game is optimized properly, so you don't need to do that, or give us the option to do that because it's not optimized properly. But when we don't get neither of those, you hop in games and you're like, what kind of horrible experience is this? On the side courts especially? And that's if you have a PS4 Pro. If you have a regular PS4, well, good luck, Bobby and Sally. You don't stand a chance, buddy. Um, the next thing I want to speak to real quick and is because I've been doing the series where I play every single 2K. And the one glaring thing I've realized is ever since I think we hopped on the PS3, 2K used to have a ton of customization on the blacktop. You can play in Egypt or China or at a trucker stop or at Rucker Park. You can do all of those things. You can play in the night, in the day. You can play in the rain. You can change what the score goes up to, one-on-one, -on -one, 5v5. There was infinite options and it was so refreshing. Hey, I know nobody really plays blacktop anymore, but maybe that's because they don't try. The blacktop in 2K20, and maybe for the last decade, has had no options for customization. Well then of course nobody's gonna play it. That's like if Toyota dropped a car that was fantastic, and then they stripped it of the fantastic features and we're confused why nobody's playing it. I think blacktop has the potential to be a mode that people regularly play, but not if you don't ever try on it. So when I'm playing NBA 2K4 or 2K7 and it has all those options, I'm thinking to myself, how is it possible we went backwards? You remove them? Why are you removing things? It doesn't make any sense. Stop removing things. Never again remove things unless there's a benefit. And don't do that where you bring it back seven years later and rebrand it to something else. Uh, can we shut down 2K18 early? For no reason. It was just a horrible game and I want to see it go down in flames. These beautiful velvet do-rags cost me $3 each on Amazon. So then how in the f does it cost $5 on 2K? What planet are we living on where the video game is more expensive than this in real life? It's virtual, I can't really use it. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm truly, truly flabbergasted, guys. 2K will drop like this very dope fit, right? And guys, trust me, I know all about style, which is why I have my own merch line, link in the description. But it's like $40,000. For, for like the shirt and the pants. I meant to say VC, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if in a few years it was dollars. It's like, damn, y'all are coming out with good content when it comes to aesthetics, clothes, y'all actively dropping stuff. And, I, and you have something to benefit here financially. So in the start of 2K20, one of the things I was really excited about was the fact that you actually earn more VC. Surprisingly, it's not as hard as it was in previous years to rack up VC. Man, I, I even tweeted about that. I was so happy that that was the case. And then what do you know? It just turns out that everything is more expensive. Like it's, it's virtual inflation. If you go to Swags with 5K VC, I don't think you could actually walk out of there with anything that doesn't look like a brown shirt should be wearing it. So then it's like, you don't wanna look like that. You're gonna spend the money to look like a better player, especially because you might not get games if people think you're a bum. So there is an incentive to purchase these clothes, even if you don't care about the aesthetics, because it'll make you more appealing to play with if you don't have a group of three to play with on the playground. So that's an interesting situation. I get some it has to be exclusive. Some stuff has to be hard to get because that's its value. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth anything. We get that. You guys hear me say it all the time. I could sit here on this video and just repeat the same three words, hire more devs. And it would really solve every problem. And it's not like they don't know that that would solve every problem. It's just expensive to do that. So even when you make a ton of profits every single year off the game, just investing in more people so that the game comes out polished, so that the game comes out with more content is apparently unreasonable. Imagine if there was a case where um, while 2K20 is out, the development team is still working on 2K20 and they're not giving up on it for the next game. Meanwhile, there's a second dev team working on the next game. That's very common in the gaming industry. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, Call of Duty does it in three year cycles. So there's three different teams. So you have three years to come out with your team's Call of Duty. But that's a bad example because that game sucks too. Active 
division will promise, oh no, we're not gonna do microtransactions this year, guys. And then they'll just bamboozle everybody three months in, and I'm not falling for the trap anymore, I'm not buying that. And these are hard things to do, and I get that it's easy to say them, and it's way more harder to get a talented second dev team. That's hard to do, because most of them are already working for other dev teams. <laughs> But I always recommend poaching developers. <laughs> I'm not lying either. I would just go to like CD Projekt Red and Naughty Dog and you know Rockstar and hey guys, John, John, come over here, man. We're gonna pay you more money. Of course, John's gonna come over. Are you crazy? More money? Everybody loves money, especially Ronnie. Especially Ronnie, he's one of the number one guys when it comes to money. I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Think about it. 2K is in a position where they're making a ton of money every year so they would be absolute lunatics to mess with the formula until something doesn't work if i'm not mistaken 2k19 performed better in terms of sales than 2k20 but not by much 2k20 was still a good performing game so why would they change anything like let's say i dropped the video and the video did fantastic in my mind people want to see more of that video then what kind of human being would i be if i just dropped this whole another different kind of video knowing that this is the one that did well that people want to see I get why they won't change things. But I can't help but think that 2K20 gives me a lot of 2K13 vibes. Both games were the final game that released solely on the last generation consoles. And 2K13 at first looked incredible. But then when you got a chance to play the game, the gameplay just felt worse. Way worse than it did in previous years. Cause 2K19 had issues, we know that. The shot contest system, the meta was ass. Everybody was a seven foot big man. But still, that game was way more fun to me than 2K20 is. In, in like a week or so, I'm gonna start playing Pro-Am on 2K20 just to see what changes. Cause if you guys remember in 2K18, when I got sick of the playground, what did I do? I went on Pro-Am and I had a blast. That's probably the most fun I had playing 2K in a very long time. And it was on 2K18. Like, this doesn't make any sense. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. But meanwhile, here I am making this connection, guys. 2K13, 2K20 is the last game solely dropped on those consoles. Both have in my opinion, big gameplay flaws, and both are just like not as fun to play as the ones that came before them. I want my voice to be heard, can you hear me, Ronnie? Look, I'm an investor, I have two shares in your company. Thank you guys, I think you've made me like a total of $3.50 so far. I'm definitely gonna use that to buy myself a nice steak and shake garlic steak burger. Psych, I'm being healthy, guys. Oh, follow my Instagram, I'm doing all my weight loss updates on there. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm losing a lot of weight. You might not be able to tell in the video because you only see my upper body. I'll have you know that my lower body is where I look very thick and beautiful. I'm an investor in take two, all right? I want a seat at the table when y'all have your quarterly meetings. I wanna be there for the reports. Otherwise, what good is it? Why am I investing in this company? Why am I a part owner? Hey, look, there's videos on the screen, right? Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, this could have been a three second video where I just said hire more devs and it really would have solved all the issues, but you have to be more detailed here on YouTube because I've tried the other method and it doesn't work, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow or the day after. It may be like a week or something. I might, I might catch you guys in 2021 later. <laughs>